Hi everyone, so if you're watching this video, then you've probably watched the first part of this video. I basically show the pattern and what the cardigan looks like. So if you haven't watched it, then you probably should watch that first because I'm basically only gonna be showing how I assemble the cardigan together in this video. I'm gonna cut this short, but apologies for the long overdue. Also, I just wanted to give a little disclaimer that the cardigan that I'll be showing in this video is not the same exact measurement as the first one that I did. I also used a different size hook and all that so basically this video is just purely a tutorial on how I make the squares I make the ribbing and how I sew them all together so yeah enjoy I'll also be answering some of the frequently asked questions at the end of the video so yeah okay so for this project you're gonna need a pair of scissors darning needle a crochet hook and also a ruler or measuring tape so to make the squares, you're gonna want to start with making a slip knot. And then you're gonna want to start creating your base or starting chain. To do that, you're gonna want to yarn over and then pull through and continue doing this until you reach the desired length. Once you've reached the end, you're gonna want to yarn over and insert the hook into the second chain from the hook. Pull through so that you have three loops on the hook and then pull through all three. And that would be your first half double crochet stitch. Yarn over into the next stitch, pull through a loop to have three loops and then pull through all three. Continue doing this until you reach the end of the chain. Once you've reached the end, you're gonna want to chain one, flip your work, continue with the half double crochet, yarn over into the next stitch, pull through one, and then pull through all three. You can see that there are these V shapes on top of your stitches, so basically when you're inserting your hook, you're gonna want to go under these V shapes. So you're gonna want to continue doing the half double crochet until you reach the end of the row. Once you have reached the end, you're gonna want to chain one, flip your work, and then continue doing the half double crochet until you reach the desired number of rows. Once you reach the end, you're just gonna want to pull through once and then cut off the excess yarn. So then you're left with this piece of yarn hanging off of your square and you're gonna want to weave that in using your darning needle. I'm kind of just like wiggling it in the square. And then you're just gonna want to cut off the excess yarn. To make the ribbing, it is very very similar to how you make the squares. You're just gonna want to start with a slip knot. And then you're gonna want to yarn over and pull through to create your starting or base chain. The first row of this ribbing will be exactly the same as to how you crochet the first row of the squares. You're gonna want to yarn over, skip the first chain, insert the hook into the next chain, pull through once, and then pull through all three. Continue doing this until you reach the end of the chain. Once you reach the end, you're gonna want to chain one and then flip your work. You can see these V shapes on top of your stitches. So instead of going under the V, you're gonna insert the hook into the back loop only. So you're gonna want to yarn over and insert your hook into the back loop only of your next stitch. Pull through and then pull through all three. That's your first stitch. You're gonna want to continue doing this until you reach the end of the row. Once you reach the end, you're gonna want to chain one and then flip your work. Yarn over into the next back loop of the stitch. Once 
once you're done it should look like this so i made the same ribbing for the middle part of the cardigan the bottom part and also the cuffs so this is the ribbing i made for the cuff you're gonna want to sew the ends together to do that you're gonna want to use a darning needle insert the needle into both ends of the ribbing And then you're gonna want to tie a double knot at the end just to secure it. Make sure you're using the same color yarn as the ribbing. As you can see here, there are like V-shapes on the side. And I'm only inserting my needle into the outer loops of the V, as you can see in the video. Continue doing this until you reach the end. Once you reach the end, don't pull through completely so you create this tiny loop and then insert your needle into the loop and pull tightly so that it creates a knot. Next, you're gonna want to weave in the ends just like you did with the squares using a darning needle. Just cut off the excess yarn and that's just how I made my cuffs. Once you're done with all of the squares, it should look like this. Make sure that they're all the same size, so measure your squares as you go. And then you're going to want to assemble the squares. I did this in sections, so this is the back panel. This is what the front panel should look like. And these are the sleeves. And this is what it should look like with everything assembled together. With the sleeves attached to the front panel and back panel. So you can see these V shapes at the top and bottom part of your square. This is the bottom part of the square. It looks a bit different and the Vs are not as distinct. And this is what the sides of your square should look like. So to sew two squares together, I'm using my darning needle and I'm only inserting it into the outer loops of each V. You're gonna want to start with tying a double knot. And then continue to insert the needle only to the outside part of the V. Continue to do this until you reach the end of the square. Also make sure that the yarn that you're using to sew the two squares together is the same color as either one of the squares that you're sewing together. Once you reach the end, you're gonna want to create this tiny loop, insert your darning needle into the loop, and then pull through to create a knot. And this is what it should look like. To sew the sides of the square together, I don't really follow a specific pattern, so I'm just randomly inserting my needle from the right square to the left square. The only thing I make sure of is that the lines of each row aligns so that it creates a neater look. Once you reach the end, just like usual, I tie a knot and then weave in the excess yarn. To assemble the sleeves, I did it per row of squares like so and then I attached them together. And then you're gonna want to sew the ends together so that it's closed. Next, you're gonna want to sew on the cuff to the sleeve. To do so, you're gonna want to bunch up the sleeve part so that it fits around the cuff. Just like usual, I am starting with a double knot to secure it. I'm also using the same color of yarn that I used to make the ribbon. Also, don't forget to flip the sleeve side inside out so that the stitches won't be visible. So using my darning needle, I'm passing it through the sleeve side a couple of times and then I'm gonna pass it through the cuff once. This way, I'm able to gather a larger section of the sleeve to fit into a smaller section on the cuff.
Once you reach the end, tie a knot to secure it and then cut off the excess yarn. And this is what the sleeve should look like. So once you're done assembling the sections, you're going to want to attach the front panel to the back panel like so. I did this the same way I sewed the squares together. And it should look like this once you've attached it. Next, you're going to want to sew on the sleeve. Flip the sleeve inside out. And you're going to want to attach it right here and sew all around this area. Once you're done, it should look like this and then you're going to want to sew this last squares together. So with the ribbing, you're going to want to start with sewing the bottom ribbing all around the bottom part of the cardigan, like so. And then you're going to want to sew the middle ribbing all around, like so. I sew this on using a darning needle and the same color yarn that I used to make the ribbing. Yeah, this is just basically the same way I sew on the squares together. Okay, so I'm gonna answer some of the frequently asked questions that I received. A lot of the questions that I got was on how to sew the cardigan, the ribbing, and all that. So hopefully I've answered that in the tutorial part of this video. The first question is how to adjust the size. I've actually answered this in the comment section of the video, but I'll just kind of answer it again. You can make the squares bigger or smaller to adjust the size. However, I've not tried this out, so I don't know how it's gonna end up looking. And I also did not do a pattern test. Also keep in mind if you adjust the size of the square, if you want to make the square bigger then it's gonna make the length of the cardigan longer and it's gonna be wider and the sleeve will also be longer so it's gonna affect everything same as if you were to make the square smaller so a lot of feedback that i've received is on how long the sleeves are so a lot of people just actually take off one row of the square from your sleeve and that kind of solves the problem for them also if you want to make the cardigan longer you can just always add one row of squares to the cardigan but yeah, I'm so sorry because I don't really understand like sizing and I basically kind of just... It was trial and error for me, so I do not exactly know how to cater the size to a specific size chart. Okay, so another question is what is the size of the cardigan? So I'm not exactly sure what the size of the cardigan is. I usually wear a size small or extra small and the cardigan fits like oversized on me. But yeah, I just didn't really refer to a size chart. The width of the cardigan that I made is approximately 75 centimeters and the length is approximately 53 centimeters. So next question is how long did it take for me to make this cardigan? It took me around two weeks to make this with like approximately five to seven hours a day maybe but i was just starting off crocheting so if you already have more experience crocheting then i don't think it'll take that long and that brings us to the next question which is if this cardigan is beginner friendly i would say that it is it's not too complicated i feel like it's just uh pretty time consuming okay so another question that i received is um how to make the squares 15 by 15 centimeters i've received feedback that people um follow the number of chains and the number of rows that i um suggested in my video but they didn't end up with a 15 by 15 centimeter square honestly i think everyone just crochets in a different way also different types of yarn some people crochet with like more tension so if you don't get a 15 by 15 centimeters square you can just adjust it yourself by making the beginning chain longer or shorter you can also increase or decrease the number of rows that you make to make the squares 15 by 15 centimeters next question is how to make the cardigan flat and not like bumpy so you need to make sure that every square is the same size so you gotta measure each and every square after you finished it if it's not the same size and you probably just gotta redo it because that's what I did because if the squares aren't even when you sew it all together it's gonna be like bumpy because they won't be aligned properly 
also just another tip on how to make the squares um the same size is to try to keep the tension as you crochet the same also make sure to count the stitches and the number of rows but yeah i think that is all thank you so much for watching mm -hmm.